being able to listen well, being able to proactively solve problems out there, empowering our engineers to solve very challenging problems out there, and collectively coming up with efficient solutions. Well, um, geez, just about everything, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, as a manager, you know, you have to be able to uh, identify uh, the risk that are involved with, uh, with the company, uh, uh, trends, you have to uh, be able to you know, listen to your workforce uh, uh, and you know, um, uh, solicit suggestions from people, uh, be able to transfer your knowledge on to others and also learn from them and with you know, the advanced technologies coming on. Uh, you have to be very versatile um, in this job. You got to be open, able to adapt, able to, to work on anything that comes at you. Um, working for a municipality or for a utility, uh, you don't always get locked into the same thing every day, so you really have to be versatile. I would say the most important skill set in my job is being able to work well with other people. Having a good attitude and being able to relate well with others is, is key to getting anything done and being successful really in, in, in any business, but especially in, in public power. Uh, we're such a vital part of the community, so collaborating with the community, collaborating with our stakeholders, collaborating with the other departments that we rely on to implement the plans that we lay out is critical to being successful. So as a manager of engineers, uh, my role is to provide uh, guidance and direction for my team, giving them the processes and tools they need to be successful and then getting out of their way and letting them do their job. So really, um, skills that I need are um, ability to um, have a vision uh, for my team, the ability to uh, take processes and, and distill them down into um, easy and manageable steps. And then also just to keep in mind a lot of the variety, all a lot of the details that is happening in my group. Um, and being able to switch from a transmission design to a distribution design to a substation design and speak all of those different languages to the engineers working on those projects. So you have to know, so I have an engineering degree, which helped me, but I didn't learn everything that I needed to know in engineering school. But you have to be good at talking to people. Uh, you have to do, interact with a variety of different people, whether it's mayors, city councilmen, employees, customers, the general manager, the accountants, the customer service reps. You gotta be able to talk to different people at different levels and kind of put things in terms they can understand. You, you know, math and science, you obviously have to have a background in if you're gonna do some of the engineering work. You have to be able to, at a municipal utility, you've got to be able to change gears. And I call that interruption driven. Some people said I might have ADD. I said, no, I'm not, I'm interruption driven, which means you change gears a lot. I, I you know, I, I think I'm gonna come in one day knowing that I've got a to-do list and I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do that and then third, I'm gonna do this. It doesn't always work that way. So I may have an engineer come talk to me about a lighting project one minute. It might be metering the next, it might be transmission later in the day, it might be an underground subdivision later in the day. So I like the fact, uh, I like that, but you have to be kind of good at changing gears. You're not going to get to just do one thing all day, every day. And, and you've got to be able to learn a variety of different things, uh, you know, to be successful because we just don't have the staff that a company with 6,000 employees would have. In trading, uh, we are juggling a lot of different things in the morning, trying to figure out you know, how much power we think our customers are going to use the next day, um, what's going on with some of our power plants, what's going on out in the market, and what might be driving some you know, different pricing or conditions or creating opportunities or creating challenges for us in terms of um, maybe finding power. So I think um, the ability to multitask and juggle information um, are pretty big in trading, uh, looking for trends, um, building relationships with other people that we trade with uh, are all uh, pretty important for my job. To do my present job, um, the ability to solve puzzles, um, uh, comfortable with math and analytics, that sort of stuff. Uh, as the operations manager, one of my responsibilities is to um, uh, work on the new customers' loads, trying to figure out a way to serve them uh, the best way, get them electricity, uh, amount of electricity they need. Uh, one of the other things that I've been tasked with recently is all the advancing technologies. 
Uh, that's one of the things that's my role. So my curiosity is really helps me there, trying to learn different types of technologies, everything from the new battery storages to the uh, uh, AMI systems and, and just tablets and, and being able to access systems, just social media, all those sort of things. So I enjoy the, uh, the solving those types of puzzles, the puzzles and things like that, putting it all together and uh, using my curiosity to benefit to, uh, all that. Okay, to do my job, you really need to be able to deal with people. You need to be able to, to manage projects and programs, and you got to be able to collaborate. Um, so there's people from the field, you've got um, people from human resources, customer service, you got engineer, technical people. It just requires the ability to really work with a wide range of people with a wide range of skills and try to extract the, um, the best out of everyone. So it's really exciting.